Welcome to Shelfie Sunday. This is episode two. You'll notice this episode looks a little bit different. That's because I didn't do the shopping this time. Um, my friends Craig and Susie, they hit me up and uh, they gave me a Shelfie. So I can't remember if it was World Market or a Publix. I can't remember where they were shopping. But somebody had like a buggy full of stuff. And they had, um, they had this beer. This is O'Fallon Cherry Chocolate Beer. That's what it's called. O'Fallon Cherry Chocolate Beer. There's no like stout, brown ale, nothing like that on the bottle. Um, it says all natural. Anyway, this six pack was $2. $2. $2 holla. Uh, so I have, I have no idea um, what style of beer this is. It's just a cherry chocolate beer. And I don't really like cherries. I might like them in sours. I don't know about stouts. Sometimes they get medicinal for me. Uh, and I've been wished the best of luck in reviewing this beer by some people. So we will crack this beer open, get it in the glass, and decide if it was worth $2 for a six pack. Somebody want to do the math real quick? And how much was that a beer? Mm, I don't know. Not very much. <laughs> Here we go, into the Piggly Wiggly can glass. I like this glass, I haven't used it in a long time. Well, it's not a stout. It's kind of light brownish, kind of a like a light brown ale maybe. Let me get some dirty glass mafia on this glass too. I hadn't used it in a while. No, it looks pretty good. Well, there was no head. Poured that pretty aggressive too. Wow, that sits, well, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it looks kind of like really, really dark apple juice. Got a caramel brownish color to it as well. Um, no head to mention. Is there a date on this bottle? No, I don't see a date on it anywhere. Maybe on that six pack. Susie or Craig, if you watch this and there was a date on the six pack, post it below. That's it. Nothing remarkable. Let's get a nose on it. Okay, I mean, it smells like, uh, you know that that red box of chocolate covered cherries, cherry cordials, I think is what Craig called them. That you, you know, you take the lid off the box and you can smell that chocolate cherry smell. That's exactly what it smells like. Dead, I mean, dead on to that smell. It's, it's caramelly, chocolatey cherry. There's no malt, there's no real malt bill that I can smell outside of the chocolate malt, if that's what they used. And it kind of smells like a Tootsie Roll too, like a, cho a, like a chocolate Tootsie Roll. Boy, so it smells like candy, <laughs> I guess. It's the best way to put it. Yeah, oh man, okay. Uh, you know, I've talked about before, like I can look down and see straight through this glass, like down to like right here, I can see through it. So it's gonna be pretty thin, I think. But, all right, here we go. Mm, yeah, so it's thin. A little dry. Kind of chalky chocolate. <laughs> okay. So by no, this beer is bad. Like by no means is this beer good. Um, you know, the honest review of it is it's thin, it's watery. It kind of tastes like uh, chocolate cherry water. I, I think that's probably, that's safe. Um, it's just not good. There's, there's no redeeming quality about this beer. I'm sorry. It, it does have the chocolate and the cherry there. It's just there's no body to this beer whatsoever. No depth. Uh, here's the thing, though. But for $2, a six-pack, no. Nah. I, 
<laughs> I would not buy it. Leave it on the shelf. Okay, this deserves to be a shelfie for its life span. Period. Uh, not, it's not a good. I do. I will check it into Untapped. I do. Thank you for the beer, Craig and uh, Susie. Um, but no, it's not good. It's just not good. No way around it. Thank y'all so much for checking out the channel. Tune in in a few weeks. We'll do another shelfie Sunday and see what comes up. I uh, should be uh, cocktails, craft cocktails next week on next Sunday. Until next time, y'all. Cheers.